fellow Earthlings, fellow people of Michigan. Story two. Uh, well, real news, anyway. A deputy who fired gun in school tried to destroy evidence, police say. Updated December 19th, 2016. For an hour and a half, or Auburn, Michigan, for an hour and a half after firing a gun inside the high school where he worked, a Bay City Sheriff's deputy played dumb. Going a step further, he tried to conceal his deed from investigators by taking the bullet that had struck the teacher in the neck and getting rid of it. This information is contained in the reports written by Michigan State Trooper, Police Troopers who investigated the November incident that took place inside the Bay City Western High School and Middle School building at 500 West Midland Road in Auburn, Michigan. The Bay City Times obtained the police reports on Monday, December 19th through the Freedom of Information Act. The reports state that Deputy Adam J. Brown, the school's resource office, at about 12.30 p.m. on Friday, November 11th, fired a um, 380 caliber Sig Sewer pistol where, while in the classroom. He had another he and another teacher had been in the robotics classroom <laughs> using a force machine to test the trigger pull on the Springfield EMP 9mm handgun. Surveillance camera footage shows Brown and the teacher exit the classroom with Brown returning shortly after. Or shortly thereafter, he again used the force machine, this time with the SIG sewer, apparently causing it to discharge. The SIG sewer and the Springfield were Brown's backup weapons both of which he was qualified and authorized to carry, according to the reports. The bullet passed through two pieces of drywall and entered a classroom occupied by about 30 students. It traveled toward the ceiling, scraped a tile, proceeded to hit a cement wall, and ricocheted off it, careened across the room, and struck the teacher, Brenda Amthor, in the neck. Amthor was sitting down in her desk when the projectile struck her. She bore a small scratch, but it was, but was uninjured, as the bullet had lost its velocity, according to the reports. At 12.26 p.m., Amthor assisted assistant principal Brad Peniel and said something had come through the wall and hit her in the neck. Peniel and other staff went to her room to check it out. She joked that it that she ha, has been having bad luck with her room this year. Peniel wrote in a statement to police. She said that whatever hit her was hot because it landed it by her feet, and she tried picking it up, but it was too hot, so she dropped it. Once the object cooled down, Amthor picked it up and handed it to Peniel. Peniel radioed to for Brown, the school's custodian, both of whom came to the room. Though Brown was engaged in conversations with the school staff on the projectile's origin origins, he did not admit to have to having fired a gun. Reports indicate as a result the school was placed in secure mode while administrators attempted to discern what had happened. A staff gave Brown the object, but in he put it in his pocket and later told them he lost it. The report state during this incident, Adam did not initially confess to discharging his weapon, wrote Detective Sergeant William um, Arndt. He confessed after being confronted by school, administrator, uh, school administrators. Adam also admitted that he attempted to destroy evidence when school administrators gave him the fired bullet uh, to protect. Adam left the school building, placing the fired gun in his personal vehicle, and threw the fired bullet into the school lawn in an attempt to thwart the investigation. Investigators summoned a canine unit to the scene, which located the spent bullet in the area of grass covered in leaves near a chain link fence in the school's southeastern side. Police also recovered the gun Brown had fired. Investigators conducted numerous interviews with staff and sheriff's office staff, though most of these discussions content in redacted from reports. Bay City School Super Superintendent Jarrett uh, Grief requested troopers provide a trespass warning to Brown and retrieve his master keys to school uh, properties. Brown turned over the keys 
the SIG sewer, and his cell phone, the reports state. Ardent spoke with Brown, who was extremely emotional, and explained that he had been in contact with his union representative, who had advised him not to provide a statement. He did state it was a total accident. Investigators spent their report or sent their reports to the Bay City County Prosecutor's Office on November 18th. On November 22nd, office staff forwarded the matter to Michigan Attorney General's Office with a request that the special prosecutors be appointed to review the case to avoid any conflict or appearance of impropriety. State Attorney General Bill Schutte on November 29th signed an order granting the request appointing the Tuscola County Prosecutor's Office to the task of determining whether the charges were warranted. Tuscola County Prosecutor Mark Rene on December 5th said his staff is going to go over the material in a thorough, deliberate manner. As of December 19th, Rene has not commented on whether or not he's decided to issue criminal charges against Brown. Brown is currently on administrative duties within the sheriff's office. He's not serving in an official police capacity at, um, until everything is done with the court systems, said under Sheriff uh, Troy R. Cunningham. If charges are filed against him, Brown could be suspended. Cunningham added, deputies can carry more than one backup weapon, Cunningham said. Deputy Swag Lee was placed, uh, has placed Brown as Western School's Resource Office, Cunningham added. Brown has been on the force since 1996. In May 2012, Crime Stoppers of Bay uh, County named Brown its, a, its Police Officer of the Year Award. Brown started his own program training officers how to handle calls involving children with autism and other special needs. In 2015, he led an active school shooter training scenario at the Bay uh, Arena area, uh, Aranac Intermedi Intermediate School District Education Facility. That's the end of story number two.